for Rainford Roads. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation is not anticipated through tonight. The Springfield, Illinois climate summary for yesterday, October 23, 2023. Yesterday's high temperature of 76 degrees occurred at 2.43 p.m. The normal high of 64. Yesterday's low temperature of 43 degrees occurred at 4.57 a.m. The normal low is 42. No precipitation fell yesterday, which leaves the monthly total at 2.08 inches. This is 0.35 inches below normal. The total precipitation for the year still stands at 28.56 inches, which is 3.79 inches below normal. No snow fell yesterday. The total snowfall since July 1st still stands at 0.0 inches, which is normal. There were five heating degree days yesterday, which is seven below normal. This brings the monthly total to 178, which is 18 below normal. The yearly total since July 1st is 200, which is 61 below normal. There were no cooling degree days yesterday, which is normal. This leaves the monthly total at 32, which is 3 above normal. The yearly total since January 1st is 1,137, which is 112 below normal. The highest wind gust observed was 32 miles per hour from the south, which occurred at 12, 12 p.m. <clears throat> Yesterday, the average wind speed was 15 miles per hour. The normal high temperature for today is 64 degrees, and the normal low is 42. The record high for today is 83, which occurred in 1963, and the record low is 23, which occurred in 1981 and 1999. Sunrise today is at 7.18 a.m., and sunset is at 6.07 p.m. The time is currently 7.47 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Here is the regional forecast summary. A subtle short wave trough noted on 08Z-3 AM water vapor imagery over northern Texas will live northward today, spreading showers and a few thunderstorms into Missouri, Iowa at the day. Alright guys, this is the forecast summary. East across of course, this Illinois. is a very really long Air forecast Air summary. Air I may be able to get a third of it, and I may not be able to get all of it. So, As has been I'll have to the past couple of days, it appears widely scattered light showers will be possible within the strengthening water regime primarily along west of Interstate 55 during the morning. Once the showers lift into northern Illinois, dry weather is anticipated for the balance of the day. The main story of the day will be the breezy and very warm conditions. Southerly winds will gust 20 to 25 miles per hour, with a few gusts reaching 30 miles per hour at times along north of Interstate 74. Given partial sunshine and strong southerly flow, high temperatures will soar into the upper 70s, as the Texas wave tracks into the southern Great Lakes, its associated plume of deep layer of moisture will shift eastward into parts of central Illinois late tonight into Wednesday morning. Showers will become more numerous along north of Interstate 72 and a few rumbles of thunder cannot be ruled out as new Cape values increase to 400 to 800 joules per kilogram. The showers will taper off and become isolated by Wednesday afternoon as the best forcing shifts well north of the region. Total rainfall with the system will generally range from 0.25 to 0.50, with little or no rain expected along south of Interstate 70. Barnes Long Term, Wednesday through Monday issued at 3.38 a.m. Tuesday, October 24, 2023, an unsettled weather pattern featuring several rounds of precipitation will dominate the extended forecast period. Round 1, an upper low currently spinning over Baja California is prompt to dig southeastward into Mexico over the next 24 hours, then lift northeastward into the upper Midwest by Thursday. As the stronger upper dynamics associated with this wave approach, <laughs> showers and thunderstorms will become more widespread, particularly Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. <laughs> Round 2, 00Z October 24th models have all come into relatively good agreement that the Thursday wave will pull a cold front through central Illinois by Friday, bringing additional scattered showers and thunderstorms. A moderately unstable shared prefrontal environment will exist, with heat kicks perhaps reaching 1,000 joules per kilogram and 0 to 6 kilometer <laughs> shear in the 40 to 50 carats range. <laughs> These parameters may be sufficient for a few strong to severe thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Round 3, forecast confidence beyond Friday remains low due to poor run-to-run -run model consistency. While all solutions strongly suggest another storm system coming into the picture Saturday night into Sunday, the exact track of the system is uncertain. 
The latest GSS pushes the primary baroclinic zone further south toward the Ohio River Valley, with surface low pressure tracking along the boundary bringing a cold, overrunning rain to central Illinois. Meanwhile, the ECMWF keeps the front further north and therefore features a warmer, more convective scenario late this weekend. Whichever solution eventually pans out, additional rainfall is a safe bet at this point. Storm total rainfall projections from tonight through Sunday suggest 1.50 to 2 inches across all of central and southeast Illinois. These amounts will be adjusted as details become clearer, so stay tuned to future forecast updates. Barnes. All right, that is uh, from February from 2022. Thanks for watching, guys.